As you probably may know by now, I'm currently challenging myself for six months to work on some of my goals and stuff I find important. We're two months in right now, so I thought it'd be a good idea to give you guys a little update on how things are going. For those who are new, uh, what is a six month challenge? The six month challenge is basically uh, a challenge in which I challenge myself for six months in which I work on some of my most important goals and things um, I find important. This is going to be a video in which I just sit down and talk about my experiences. So if this is not interesting to you, I advise you to maybe go watch another video. But if you are interested in this six month challenge and how things are going and things I learned, sit down <laughs> and maybe just listen to what I have to say. At the start of this challenge, I defined several categories, which each held a subject that I found important. These four categories I defined were health, wealth, relationships, and character. For each of these categories, I defined for myself some goals, and I made a plan on how I would achieve those goals. If you're interested more specifically in the plans I wrote for that, you can find these plans on my site. You can find them under the six month challenge, and just for category, I defined everything there. So go have a look. <laughs> so now I would like to take the time to just go over each category and briefly tell you how the things are going. So first off is health. And for health, I've defined three different subcategories, mainly um, physical health, mental health, and spiritual health. Physical health part is going quite well. I've been going to the gym. I've been learning about nutrition. And I believe I've been, been holding myself quite good to my diet and to my workout schedule. I also believe I'm noticing some progress, so that's just great and I absolutely enjoy going to the gym. Mental health part has been a little bit different because, and I'm, I'm going to, to get deeper into it later on in this video, but October knew some moments in which I realized that it was time to give more attention to my mental health because it was declining. I even hit a wall this month uh, in which I was totally fatigued, I felt overwhelmed, I couldn't make my head clear and there was so many things going on at once. But eventually I sat down and I got to reflect and think about these things and I'm also going into this a little further into the video. Second category, wealth. I found this one to be the hardest, like in the beginning of this challenge I thought hey good I'm just going to start a little business or, or find a little side job, get a passive income. It's not that easy because first of all when, when you, if you want to do this as optimal as you, as you can, you need information. You need knowledge about how to do these things. And frankly, I don't have that knowledge. I so throughout October, I've redefined my goals for wealth, which is mainly to educate myself on the subject for, these couple, for the next couple of months, and then later see how I can get these things more into practice. I've made a list of books I wanted to read. Some of those are on the screen right now. And I hope that these books might learn me more about how to deal with money. And the psychology after money, I think, is really um, interesting and also how investing works but it, it starts with an income and currently as a full-time student I have zero income so, so wealth has been quite challenging um, mainly because it's probably the category of which I know the least of but hey we're here to learn so we'll get there. Third category is relationships and I'm gonna skip this one really quickly because later on this video this is one of the subjects that I want to talk about and is um, I've learned some things about this category which I want to share later on in this video. And lastly, character. As I've mentioned, uh, since I've hit a little mental wall, I also was confronted with some character traits which I want to work on. For instance, focus. I think focus is a really important thing and I struggle with it. <laughs> so um, I've been, since I lost my motivation and was all over the place, it was really hard to focus and concentrate on the things which were important. So that was one thing I bumped into. Responsibility also came back into play because I, I really believe in taking responsibility for your life and extreme ownership, mainly meaning that everything that happens in your life, you take responsibility for it, the good things and the bad. And that way I believe that some of the things that happened to me which made me uh, hit that mental wall this month were my responsibility. So I just took the time to sit down to reflect on these things. Where did some things go wrong? How can I take responsibility for it? Uh, what are the things I can change? So these are some character values that I have that I got reminded of several times this month, which is a good thing. It's not always a bad thing to, to 
hit a wall or to, to hit a low point. Because often it's in these periods of weakness that we learn our more important lessons. If you learn, then you can grow. With these categories out of the way now, I just wanted to sit down and talk about some things I got reminded of this month or things I learned this month, which really, which are, I believe, really important for my life and um, to keep in mind for the next couple of months and even the next years. First one is balance. Balance is actually one of my most important values, but I also neglect this one probably the most because I'm a really, I'm a person with a lot of interests, with like really wide range of, of interests. And the thing is, we all only got a limited amount of time. And I tend to choose all these things and, and work on them all at the same time, which makes me a kind of a workaholic. And sometimes I forget to take time to rest or when to stop working, actually. I think I kept on working too much and I didn't acknowledge the times when I had to sit down and just rest. And these things kept accumulating and accumulating. Um, as I said, you keep working, um, but you don't take time to, to slow down in the evening, so your sleep isn't very qualitative. Then the next thing, your productivity rate isn't that high because you haven't slept well, and just it's piece after piece after piece after piece, until you finally hit that wall and then nothing works anymore and your body really forces you to rest. So the first important lessons I've learned is holiday specific balance everything is made in balance you got work and you've got rest if you don't rest then your work will not be as good as you want it to be some things i did to to rest uh, in that week was i went for some walks for some really extensive walks i picked up my hobby of photography again which i really enjoy to just really focus on certain aspects and things outside which you normally don't see and to try and think about composition and stuff like that so, just to, to round up, it's important to keep a good balance um, in everything. Um, otherwise, your body or your mind will not keep up. Second lesson I learned is about relationships. Another aspect of uh, working that much is that I really, at a point, felt isolated. I saw friends on social media going out several times a week, or went to a cafe, or had a board games night or I don't know, some things like that. And I just felt like, what am I doing? I just wake up, I work and I go back to bed. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but from time to time you, you want to see your friends or, or be a little more social. So not only did I feel isolated, but I also felt a little disconnected from some valuable friendships I had. Not because these friends did anything wrong, <laughs> but because I isolated myself from them. And since I find relationships so important that I even made a separate, separate category for it for this, for this six month challenge, I took some time to reflect and think like, what do you actually want from your friendships? And I just came to one thing. I think it's important to actually take the time and think about what does this friend contribute to my growth and what has this person taught me or learned me or why do I admire this person? really makes you feel more connected to them and to actually speak this out to them is something they would really appreciate which i have found out in the experience so like if you do this your relationships are bound to become more deeper and you become more connected to this person because you actually know of each other how much you mean to each other communication is key and the last lesson i've learned this month is about creativity just as we are social beings and we need to have social contact and to spend time with others, I also believe we are made as creative beings. We are made to create things and to create the things we find valuable or the things we believe in or are passionate about. If we are able to cre create those things, this is what brings true satisfaction and purpose in life. And with creativity, I don't mean being an artist. I don't mean making paintings or drawings or creating music. Yes, this is creative, but there are other ways of being creative, such as um, maybe you're really good in organizing a great party, or maybe you're great at yeah, photography. Or it's, there are a lot of other ways to be creative. And throughout this month, I then connected with myself and found more that, wow, I want to be more creative again. 
I want to create things. Like, I used to play guitar a lot, but because of the work I, I currently have, I've not been able to play as much. I used to draw a while ago. I haven't drawn in a lot of uh, a lot of time. And then, like I've said before, my, my hobby of photography is really a way in which I can express myself. So to find these outlets in which you can express yourself and create things which are valuable to you and in which you believe you can bring value to the world, I just realized that, these, that this is really important to me. And so I want to take more time to actually be creative. I myself got more creative this month by just going out and taking some pictures. I've created a mood board to hang out in my room with some Pinterest uh, photos. These are some small things that you can do but which can really make the difference in how you feel throughout the day. So, two months in, some lessons learned, some valuable lessons. Things don't always go as you want them, but it's our job to take responsibility for what happens and to learn from it and to just... I think, as Denzel Washington once, once said in his speech, uh, fall down seven times, stand up eight, and to just keep going and to start over again. So, this is basically how month of October went. Four months left and I'm excited what it will bring. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for another video.